What's going on everybody? Uh, Rob here to do a uh, vinyl update video. This is going to be a bit long. Um, I got a lot I picked up in the last few weeks. Um, last week. Not week. I've been a week. Yeah, I got some uh, mail that came in the last couple days. Mail's been really, really slow. Um, a lot of the stuff I ordered uh, weeks ago and it's just coming in now. So I don't know what that's all about. Um, probably tired of me getting so much mail. I'm like, screw this guy. Anyway, the stuff I'm going to show you first is from the mail. I opened it today. I'm just opening it now. It's just easier to hear you guys watching me open boxes. Plus I get to check it out beforehand. So uh, anyway, let's get going. First piece I got in the mail is Doro's, I think her debut solo album. I can't remember, Force Majeure. Uh, this is a Vertigo pressing from Germany, right? Yeah, out of Germany. Still got glare on, I don't have the lights on. In excellent shape. Um, you can tell it's the flimsy UK, I mean, Europe version. Uh, liner, I mean, the uh, sleeve, pretty good liner, whatever you want to call it. Inner sleeve, I call it. And it is on the vertical la label, which I love the vertical label. This is <laughs> Vertical label. Excellent shape. You can see nice and clean. You can see how messy my table is in the vinyl. You know it's clean. Alright, so there's that one. I got so much shit on this table right now. Oh, I wanted to show the CD first. I actually have another CD that came in. Alright, my uh, I don't have many CDs on my grail list, a CD grails I should say, but this is one. Um, why is that? Uh, it's, a, it's an older band from like 94, 94, oh, a little bit earlier than that, but they only put out like one album, and it's barely an album, it's like eight, seven songs, right? Yeah, seven songs. And uh, I first picked seen this, I thought, it, you know, it was new, still sealed. Um, I thought maybe it was a boot because this usually runs about 45 to 50, 60 dollars. And this showed up for like, combined it was like 22 ships. So I thought for sure it was going to be a, a Russian boot or something. Uh, and that's a band called Zayed. And uh, do you believe it is a Christian based band, but very, very good Queensryche like sound to them. I think it's 95, right? 94. That was close. But uh, after looking it over, and then obviously when you open it up, and you can still you see that the white is got that brown beige color to it instead of being bright white. And then checking out the numbers and stuff, it, it's a legit copy. Just got lucky for what I paid for it. I've also seen another one, so I'm wondering if they're just coming down in price now, or somebody found a bunch of them because you just don't see these sealed. Uh, hard to come by, period. Uh, next is one I've been chasing after, not a grail, but this one I wanted, and that's my favorite album by the band, Pretty Made. It's called Future World. Uh, it's called something else too. I can't remember. Land of the Gunners? No, 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 no. That's that's like Diamond. There's another name for Jump the Gun is the other name for I think, right? Ah, hell, I don't know. Anyway, there's the back. Very unique vocalist. Sounds like two vocalists, but it's just one. Uh, again, another U.S. press. This is... A U.S. press. Uh, Euro press. It's pressed in Holland. I knew right away because of the flimsy, what do you call it? It was in Europe there. And then a nice sleeve. They generally have a nicer, heavier sleeve. And the vinyl on a bright red CBS. So that was a quick font, quick, you know, nice little grab. Um, and I got my, another one from the same guy. First vinyl uh, metal church, I got some metal church pre-ordered, but this is my first metal church on vinyl. I just cannot seem to find them. 
or find them for a reasonable price. And this is still my favorite album by the band, and that's The Dark. David Wayne, love David Wayne's vocals, love Metal Church. Uh, I would like these guys better than most of the stuff that Metallica's put out and overall. And, uh, you know, great songs. I hear like Ton of Bricks, Start the Fire. Every song on here is great. The Dark, Psycho, Line of Death, Burial at Sea is probably one of my favorite songs off that they do, period. Uh, this is an original Electra Press, US Press. Comes with a printed sleeve, I mean printed paper, uh, lyric sheet, and nothing on the back, and then the vinyl is in. Again, in perf almost perfect condition. A little dirt here, obviously from shipping and stuff. But another album to finally get. I just never come across uh, Meta uh, Metallica. Metal Church in the wild at all. Although I say that, and when I got in the wild, you guys are gonna have a heart attack. We just see what I got at the end. It may not mean nothing to you, but they're pretty big hits for me. Uh, uh, we're still in the mail. Uh, this is the band's third album. Uh, I know a lot of you guys probably all know these guys. Uh, they just released this, and they just released it on vinyl. The only one on vinyl. So I picked it up on vinyl instead of CD, which I waited for it. I hate buying both, it's just how I am. And I had them autograph the cover, and that's a band called Images of Eden, and the album's called Soulfire. Uh, very kick-ass cover as well. You can see the whole band autographed it, all five of them. So pretty cool. Uh, they're kind of a cross between, let's say, Queensryche, in, in the Promised Land era, a little bit heavier than that, and Dream Theater, like good Dream Theater, not the over progressive Dream Theater. An excellent band. If you, I'll, you know, I'll link them in my signature. There is the inside. Very nice quality. The only thing that pissed me off is that the the vinyl when slipped in the sheet, the sleeve is too small for the vinyl, so it has two tears in that. But I mean, that's not really their fault. That's kind of quality control on that. And it's on, it's on white vinyl. And I just love that album cover. Uh, Soul Fire by Images of Eden. White vinyl. Why I keep sliding it back into this, I don't know. But for now, that's what's going to happen. <sighs> Now I want to get to the good stuff. Although this is all good stuff, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, I hate it. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. I didn't have a lot of time on uh, record store day, but I did manage to stop uh, to look. I had about 15 minutes, and all of this is from that day, and it's a lot, and it's big hitters. The only actual record store day I managed to pick up was the Dio with the Holy Diver single, Holy Diver, Holy Diver single, and on the back it has uh, the song Electra, uh, first time ever on vinyl. So that was pretty cool to find. There's a ten. This would be a ten inch. It's not seven. It's too big to be seven. Yeah, it's probably a ten inch. That's pretty cool. I want the Anthrax, but it's kind of pricey for what it is. And, and then the Judas Priest is one I want. There's a Saxon one I want. Uh, next is a quickie. Is everybody knows Michael Shanker group. This is Assault Attack. Um, again, I'm just going to pull it out just on the Chrysalis label. Nothing special. It's still got the Chrysalis plastic sleeve on it, too, which I'm probably going to, I hate those sleeves, but I'm going to keep it just based because it's record label beats. And you all know Michael Shanker, so I'm not going to go into that. Next is a band called Death Dealer, Keeper of the Flame. Uh, good mid-80s, heavy good heavy metal. Um, falls under um, kind of, I'd say a little new wave-ish. Uh, this is on the, it's on the Restless Metal Blade, right? Yeah, Restless and Metal Blade. 
Really good band. Uh, not very well known. And this copy is in excellent shape. I mean, it's super cheap. Had to get it. Uh, vinyl is in great condition. I'm just going to show you the metal blade blade. And there's no reason to really pull out the vinyl and everything. I mean, if it's not in great shape, I won't buy it. Anyway, so. So there's that. Next is a uh, band called, I've been looking for this album forever, can't seem to find it here, and I'm not paying full, uh, more than shipping, shipping costs is more than the actual album, and you do find it, and that's a band, Trash. Um, this is their second album, Burning Rock, right, or, yeah, Burning Rock, um, what's the U.S. Press? Yeah, this is the U.S. Press from 85, this is their second album, way better than their first, uh, they have, I think they have two. Yeah, it is down there, Burning Rock. Uh, this is a gold stamp promo as well. But like I said, this is a really good, you know, hair rock, hair metal album on Atlantic. In excellent condition. So that was that was a great. That was a cool little find to see. I, yeah, it doesn't have to be a hundred dollar album or more to to be happy when you find that stuff. I love finding just stuff like this, which, you know, because of shipping, I won't buy it unless I find it, or it's like super regional shipping, but well worth the money if you can find it. And their first album's not terrible, it's just nowhere near as good as that. I don't know what happened in the midst of that. Uh, let me pull these out and set a double show on them. Next is a band called Power Mad. This is the third time I've run across this. I never can leave it there. It's hard to come by. And it's a gold stamp promo, which my other one isn't. I, I think I gave Farley my other gold stamp promo one. Uh, so I, this one's going back into my collection. Power Man, great speed thrash metal. Uh, this is their first full length album. They did, a, they did an EP before this, and they put out one a couple of years ago that I can't remember what it was called right now. But this one was kind of cool. You know, being a promo, I'll show you that in a second. But here's the sleeve in excellent condition again. Uh, I know uh, a, a big guy in my area has a massive metal collection. It all came from one guy from talking to the owners. Uh, the owners of both the stores I go to were friends, and they were both at the store that day, so I was talking to both of them. They split this collection, and uh, so all these are from one guy. And that's that the sleeve looks brand new. It's on a, rep a reprise, reprise, however you want to say it. I don't care. You get the idea. Excellent condition. And it came with the little stapled Power Med uh, promo package thing, which I thought was kind of cool. Yeah, it has the whole story and write up on the band. Uh, and I don't know if this was somebody, somebody, the dude did or. It looks very, I mean, it's on nice paper. It's on, it says re, uh, Reprise uh, you know, stamp logo. And so it's pretty cool to find that in there. A couple of these I've actually found that. All right, next, another one we all know, and that's Grim Reaper. The Fear No Evil, still in the shrink with the big ass a uh, sticker. This, this isn't the promo, right? No. Uh, let's check in these, because some of these have, like this has the original Grim Reaper order sheet, fan club sheet, buttons, shirts. You can sign up for the fan club. Um, back when you said at the send shit, and this is for a, a contest as well. Uh, let's see, t-shirt, 12 bucks. Pretty cool. And then you have the quiz on the back you can fill out. So it came with that. I always love that little shit that the album should have in it, and they still do. And it's on RCA, Victor, in amazing shape. Looks almost unplayed. Every one of these, this guy knew how to take care of his vinyl. And I know he's got more, and I wish I could find out who it is. 
Next is Anthrax EP, Armed and Dangerous. Uh, I cannot find our earliest stuff ever, so this was awesome to find. It's not much, but it goes for a pretty penny. Uh, but look at the shape of that thing. Excellent shape. You can almost not tell, you know, there's a little bit of fingerprints and shit there, but immaculate shape. And this comes on the silver Megaforce label. Again, in excellent shape. And this has uh, what? God Save the Queen, Metal Thrash, Mad, Panic, Armed and Dangerous, which is one of my favorite songs, and Raise Hell. Another awesome find. Oh, this wasn't. This was a male. This was a male piece. Uh, anyway, you guys know, um, I found this album, Odin. I didn't find it. I bought it the reissue one because I found it really cheap. Because I've always had trouble finding the, the OG copies because they always want a lot of money for them. And it's just not an album that I love it. You know, if I couldn't find it eventually, I would pay that kind of money. But I actually bought this by accident when I was buying something else because I had two things in my in my 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 uh, cart, and I hit this by accident because you can click one the ones you want, and that's Odin's OG copy of "Don't Take No for an Answer," and this is the one that's on white vinyl, which is the tougher of the two to find. Uh, again, in the shrink, looks almost new. I'm not gonna pull the shrink now and drive you guys crazy because I got a lot to show you and white vinyl. You didn't see a whole lot of white vinyl back in the day. The original label, I mean obviously the original label. That's what the original label looks like. Even the uh, repress looks just like that too. And look at that sticker. That's more fun Z vinyl. And this was uh, self-released. So again, another kick-ass album. That was actually a male piece. Here is one. Now these next few are just ones I've been, they're Grail, mini grails, uh, some are massive grails. Now here's one that I've never seen in the wild, I never thought I would, and I get confused with which is first. It's either Digital Dictators or this. I think it's this, and that's Vicious Rumors, Soldiers of the Night. Love this band. Their first three, first four albums are spectacular. They switched vocalists on their third album, their self-titled one. Uh, Carl Albert, Carl Albert, I think it was. Uh, he passed away uh, quite a few years ago now, but they're on their third singer, and every one's been good. And this is uh, Jeff Thorpe. Uh, Vinny Moore is actually on this. He, he started with the band. Uh, Gary St. Pierre is a singer. But it, it looks more glammy, but it's not. It, it's pure power metal. Uh, I was shocked to see this sitting on the shelf. I don't know if this had a inner sleeve, but it's on the black label shrapnel. And I think this is 85, right? Yeah, this is 85. And again, looks like a fingerprint, but there's nothing there. Uh, a little dusty. These things to be cleaned. That, that, was, that was I was shocked to see that. This one, and I'm shocked to see all these ones. Next is a the first time I first vinyl piece I have of this band or another band that's virtually impossible to find, especially the OG copies. And this is Destruction. This is Live Without Sense. This is on the Noise label. And this is the fold out one that folds out odd. And you guys, I mean, we all know Destruction. It's you, you know it's. Uh, thrash metal, German thrash metal band. It has the inner, which is in great shape. And then the noise label. Again, vinyl is super clean. Another thing I just was shocked to come by. Oh, I'm wrong again, guys. This, this is also from the mail. Got this from the mail. I found this. Oh, this is local. I found this, uh, not local in the US on one of the sites I'm on and that's XYZ's debut album well no yeah debut album first full length album they have an older EP out that's from France where he's from originally I don't know who else is but uh excellent debut album 89 right 
Yeah, 89. This is produced by Don Dawkins. You know, Don Dawkins produced some killer albums. Uh, this one and Masses, The Voices in the Night. Like, they look very similar, actually. Kind of the same look. Um, I'm out talking the music. Killer, killer hair metal, but the good shit, you know? Yeah, the, the sleeve doesn't want to come out. But it don't matter. There you go. It's XYZ. On Enigma. It's just, uh, I think this might be a Canadian copy if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure it's a Canadian press. That's why the Enigma looks a little, a little bit different. But excellent shape. Another one. This is a mini grail, you know. It's one of those ones that fall in the middle um, of grail, grail, grailism stuff, whatever. Uh, all right, now we get to the big four, uh, and we're not talking about the thrash big four. This one I've seen sitting there. I do not have this at all on vinyl, period. This is one of the two Judas Priest albums I don't have, uh, and that is the, the U.S. version of, oh my God, Hellbent for the Leather, Killing Machine. This is the U.S. version. Why they changed the name, I forget the story. I don't remember the story. In excellent condition. Uh, not only that, as you can see in that top corner there, it's a gold stamp promo. Not only that, it is a gold stamp white label promo. How about that bitch? Uh, I don't know how that was still there by the time I got there. I'm shocked. Um, I don't remember what I paid for it, but it wasn't that much. But when I pulled the, the vinyl out to look at the vinyl and I seen that white label, I'm like, obviously people didn't look inside this because, I mean, I got just a, a promo of anything Priest or Iron Maiden is hard to come by, and I've gotten like three of them now. So that's pretty kick ass. Again, this is all, you know, in a while, except for those two I forgot. Next. Album high on my want list, on my grail list. I love this band. This band's a top ten, maybe even five favorite of mine. And that's Sabotage. Yep. Fall of the Melting King. It looks almost brand fucking new. Is the U.S. press? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I didn't even check. I just seen it and grab it. Yeah, it's on the Atlantic label. Again, just in immaculate condition. <laughs> I mean, these things don't have a speck on them. Except for that one that looks like it has a fingerprint, but I think I may have done that. But that's just an album you just don't find wild. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I sat there and stared at this, and this is not even the, the best one yet. Got two more to go. That alone would have been a hell of a, you know, find. All these are just crazy finds. Next, an OG copy of Overkill, Stone the Shrink, Taking Over. Let me take it out of the sleeve. Original 798 price tag on there. Um, so, you know, it's an original copy, hard to come by, fairly expensive when you can find it. So, of course, I had to pick that up. So, I'm going through it. You know, I pull out the album and it's in a nice, you know, paper, well, not a nice, it's paper, in a sleeve. The vinyl looks fantastic. And you can tell the guy took care of this stuff. So then I'm going through it, you know, I'm, I'd seen the sleeve, I pulled it out, and I pulled it out backwards, I pulled it out like this so I seen the lyrics. So then I pulled the vinyl out, and it looked great, so I put it back in, and I took it. So I'm getting home, the other, the other night I'm sitting here, I'm pulling it out to look at it again, and I pull it out, and can you, you guys might not be able to see that, but right above Bobby Blitzer, it's autographed by Bobby. And down here, it's autographed by DD. 
How fucking cool is that? <laughs> Not only to find this album, find an autograph sl sleeve in the album. Alright guys, ready for this one? This is the last one. I know this is a long video and I apologize, but there's a lot of stuff here as you can see. And this last one is extremely hard to come by in the wild, anywhere, even in, through the mail, without paying a fucking fortune. Um, paid quite a bit for this, but not anywhere near what it's going for. Not anywhere near what it's going for. Um, that's Megadeth. Rest in peace. Still in the shrink. <laughs> Uh, how fucking cool is that? I was literally almost about to buy the reissue one that they have on Sound of Vinyl. And it has the original sleeve. Yeah, a little, little wrinkly, but that's normal wear. Uh, it's from 1990, so you're talking 28 years. The vinyl. Again, mint. Now here's the even better thing about this. I know you think, well, it's an OG copy, yeah. And then you, this is a club pressing of it, like you know, like the record clubs back in the day. And they're a little, they're even more rare to find than just a regular, oh yeah, OG press. It is the OG press from that year. It just was pressed for was it BMG or I can't remember what one it's for. For Columbia House or BMG, I can't remember which one of those. But you know, it's the Combat Capital. So that was a f fucking awesome find. I mean, I still, yeah. <laughs> to see that in any store, especially a little tiny store, it was just fucking fabulous. Didn't even think twice, I just grabbed that bitch. If the vinyl was even very good, I would have, I would still would have, would have paid what I paid for it. So that's my record store day in a nutshell. <laughs> There's a bunch of other shit in the mail I've been getting. Um, so I'm going to cut this kind of quick since it's running almost 30 minutes. But that's a haul. For me, that's by far my best ever. I mean, the Megadeth alone is my best score so far. Because, um, you know, this thing is topping at $180, $200 for just a regular press, you know, of this. And for some reason, the, the, the record club presses are highly desired. I don't get it. You know, it's like promo stuff. I mean, I know it's cool to have it and it's desired, but I don't see the overall. But I wouldn't pay more because it was a club press. I, I, hell, I need to pay more. Anyway, there you go, guys. I'm still excited over that. I mean, that was a great find. I mean, I, what this goes for... Megadeth goes for a loan. I didn't pay for this whole pile. I mean, I hit it so big over the over the weekend, and I literally had fifteen to twenty minutes. <laughs> I was still shocked as shit. Everybody was in line. There was you know there was a line there even when I got there, and they all were running to that RSD shit. Um, I look on the walls. The first thing I do is look on the walls because the guys that you know they put out the good shit on the walls. So that's the first thing I run across. And this, and again, after talking to them, they bought, they split that metal collection. Um, anyway, I'm rambling. This made my weekend after a shitty weekend I had. So, y'all have a good day, and I'll be back real soon. I'm probably going to do is what's spinning in my car. I was going to do it today, but don't feel like it. I almost didn't do this. <laughs> y'all have a good day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subbing. I know I haven't had too many videos in between. I'm just... I'm trying to keep, you know, uh, occupied without overdoing it here. And, uh, but I'll, I'll be doing making more videos soon. Uh, I want to do a contest soon as well. Y'all have a good day. I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, I know a lot of you guys were you know, with family and stuff like that. So I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving.